Concordia is the first academic institution in Quebec to implement an industrial composter and develop a large-scale composting facility. This composter I have here beside me is the new uh, Concordia composter. Our objective with this system is to compost 100 tons of food waste per year. The composter consists of a large cylinder that rotates at predetermined intervals. This mixes the content and aerates the mix, which gives oxygen to the bacteria for the breakdown of organic waste into compost. Once composted, the material exits by the hole at the far end and falls into the blue receptacle. When the receptacle is full, the immature compost should be placed behind Hingston Hall residence for a maturation period of one to two months. Organic waste is collected in different areas of the university in 240 liter rolling carts. Full bins are brought to the organic waste storage shed, while bins from downtown are brought by the recycling trucks. Kitchen personnel are in charge of ensuring proper separation of the organic waste. Liquids and grease are not to be placed in the bins. The 240 liter bins are lined with a special compostable liner to facilitate cleaning of the bins. Ensure that no food falls outside of this liner. When the bin is full, seal the bag by tying a knot. I'll bring the, the bin onto the scale. The scale that works like any scale you have in a doctor's office. Um, you measure in kilograms and you try to uh, balance the scale. This bin weighs uh, 66.5 kilograms and you deduct 18 kilograms for the weight of the bin. So we'll do the same type of process for the uh, wood chips. Once you have your measurements, you're ready to log them into your log book. When using the lift, always make sure there is nobody between the composter and the lift and make sure you always put the chain as a safety feature to be sure no accident will happen. To operate the lift, you need so two keys. Put it on. Open the cage door with the first key. Roll in the 240 liter bin. Disengage the emergency stop button with the second key. Then press the start button to turn the power on. Press and hold the up button until the lift stops. Leave the bin up for a few seconds to let the remaining liquid fall in. Once the bags are in the composter, break them open using a sharp tool. Then, press and hold the down button until the lift is back down. Open the door and remove the bin. When you have finished, clean any spills, lock the door, and press the red emergency stop button. Press the start button once more to make sure that the lift does not turn on. Before working around the composter, press the red emergency stop button on the main panel. This illuminates the red light, which indicates that the composter is off and will not rotate. To operate the composter, you will need the key to open the main panel. Open the lock and flip open the panel door. If you would like the composter to run normally, set the black dial to automatic. When set to automatic, the composter will rotate according to the rotation interval time that has been set on the timer. The manual setting allows you to rotate the composter manually. The reverse button rotates it to the left, the empty button rotates it to the right. The off setting means that the composter will not rotate at all. Set the dial to off when performing maintenance on the machine. To access the timer, look for the small clock on the side of the main panel box. Normally, the interval increments are set to hours, but can be changed to minutes using a small flat screwdriver. If you want to adjust the interval of rotation, turn the wheel and place the arrow on the corresponding time setting. During normal operation, it should be set to rotate at 30 to 45 minute intervals. After adjusting the time, pull the emergency stop button to reactivate the composter. The composter is equipped with a ventilation system. To adjust the ventilation, open the cover and turn the very speed wheel. Normally, the ventilation is left at low speed. In the winter, if there is freezing at the exit point of the composter, ventilation should be turned off. If there is a problem with odors, the system should be set to high. When adjustment is complete, shut the very speed cover. To ensure good passive aeration of the pile and limit the frequency of mechanical turning, the piles are mounted on perforated plastic pipes that facilitate air movement. 
To avoid odors during the continuation of the composting process, a layer of mature compost is added to cover the pile. When precipitation is expected, the pile can be covered with geotextile. This will limit water from washing away nutrients in the compost and will limit the formation of mud puddles and odors due to excessive humidity. In the summer, the cover can also be used to minimize evaporation. At least twice during the maturation process, the compost pile should be mixed. This is best done by filling the front end loader bucket with compost and dropping this compost on top of the aeration pipes placed in a new location. Always cover the pile with mature compost, the geotextile membrane, and replace proper signage. It's important to take a temperature reading weekly to know when the compost is ready. At the moment, this pile is above ambient temperature. This, this pile will take a few more weeks before it is ready to mature. This maturation pile is close to ambient temperature, so it is ready to use. Controlling odors is very important in facility maintenance. To minimize odors, sweep the floor around the composter and remove any spills on the ground or on the composter. Wash the spillway on the lift after each use. Remove any food on the ground. For proper agitation, make sure that the composter is set to automatic and the emergency stop is disengaged. Check that the ventilator of the chimney is properly working. In order to ensure your safety when operating the composter, make sure that you follow all safety guidelines. When mixing or transferring compost or wood chips, wear a dust mask. Wear gloves when manipulating the compost and wash your hands after. Stay away from pinching zones when the drum is rotating. Do not go between the composter and the lift when the lift is operating. Ask the electrician to power off the system if you need to access the inside of the control panel. Always lock the door of the fence when leaving the area. Please read the instruction manual thoroughly before starting operations. For more information on the program, contact Concordia's Environmental Coordinator.